Happy holidays, my friends. It is day number three of Advent Calendar Madness. I am Pixel Dan. And I'm Stina. And holy cow, I am really happy that this has gotten off to such a good start. Since we're doing things so different this year and we switched to an alternate channel, I'm really happy that that hasn't like gotten in the way of this show doing how it's done because people are still watching. We're getting tons of comments. I am getting flooded with creepy Santa emails. I've already got over 30 emails with creepy Santa pictures. That's, that's and it's been two days. You guys are amazing. So thank you so much for bearing with us through all this weird YouTube stuff and coming over here to this alternate channel and still watching the show every day. That really means a lot to us. So that's, I'm really happy that I was nervous because um, I don't yeah. post things to another channel very often. That's always been one of my, my fears is that if I post something on a different channel, people just aren't gonna follow and the views are gonna be bad. But you know what? The, it's been pretty typical for this show. Things have been going good. And I'm just really happy that we're doing it because that's what's most important to me is that we're keeping this tradition alive. So thank you guys so much. It's been really, really awesome. So are you excited? You ready to do this? Do you it. ready to go? Let's start. All right. Well, speaking of all those creepy Santas, we should probably just go ahead and dive right in because we got some new ones to yeah. look at today. Hold on, where gotta pull him down. He's still up on the shelf over here. All right, my friends, it's creepy Santa time. Oh no, you did this. I didn't touch you it. You did this. Didn't touch it. Yeah. Oh wait, oh. there he is. Hey, all right. <laughs> See, he does it on purpose. He does do it on he purpose. Does it on purpose. It's, it's just gonna be like that from now on. Like yep. we're never gonna know if he's gonna quite work all the way because it's just so old and I don't know, he gets a lot of use here on that. It's a lot of pressure to perform for us every year here for Creepy Santa time. I don't know what's happening with his hair. I know, his but... hair is getting like more and more scraggly. Like he can't see, the poor guy. He's, he's loved, he's well loved, he's well loved. <laughs> All right, so I mentioned we've had a whole bunch of emails. So I'm gonna go ahead and do four today. Okay. We're gonna kind of just gauge this as we go and if we just keep getting a ton of them we'll we'll do as many as we can but just like in previous years on the last day we'll just at least do a slideshow to show everybody's so um keep that in mind if you're sending an email in and you don't see it the very next day that's probably because we have to get to it so don't keep sending it over and over again like if you've sent it to me i should have it and we'll definitely get to it so Let's dive right into this first email. It's a bit of a long one here. It says, man, I'm happy to say hi to my favorite family on the internet. How's everything going, Pixel family? It's going pretty good for me. Yeah. Uh, it says, hope everything is going great. I absolutely love this show and love uh, collaborating with it every single year. Your channel, in, your channel in general truly is one of my favorites. Oh, thank you so much. The past two years have been a little rough for me to put it simple, not quite enjoying the adult life, but even if I haven't had the time to see all of your videos like I used to, I still try to see some of them because I know they'll bring me a reason to be happy and forget everything else. That is awesome, man. And that's exactly the reason I keep doing what I do. So I'm happy that I can help bring a little bit, that we can help bring a little bit of happiness to your life. Gotta escape that adult world sometimes. Yes. It says, last year I sent you some fan art of Mosquito facing off with Spider Blue. I wanted to digitalize it this year, but haven't had a time to do that, but I promise I'll do it eventually. No rush, man, and thank you for the fan art. It's always awesome. Uh, he says, I don't know what's gonna happen with this YouTube and COPPA stuff, but I wanna thank you for the amount of joy your content has provided me all this time while I still can. So thank you, thank you Pixel Dan for your amazing content. Thank you for the support. And don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. We're gonna get through all this. We'll get through it together, all right? So he goes on to say, now to the point. This year I found something that is more creepy in concept than at plain view. It's imposter Santa. Look at it. He's wearing a fake mustache and all. God knows what his intentions are. I also love the little elf creepily smiling to the camera right behind him. Probably one of his evil minions. Who knows? Have an amazing holiday season from Eddie. So this is his creepy imposter Santa. <laughs> 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 Which I totally get because like, it's one of those weird ones that doesn't have a mustache. It's always funny to me when it's, you see a Santa that's got a beard and no mustache. It's falling off. Oh, like is it, that? It, it fell off. That's why he's an imposter yeah, Santa. Yeah, because he fell it's off. It's like a fake mustache falling off. And he's off. got that, 
the, the eyes too, the creepy eyes. The creepy like the eyes. Small. I love it. I love it. Eddie, thank you so much for the kind email and for the awesome creepy Santa picture. Thank you. All right, our next email comes from James Dashner, who has sent us many of these over the years. I definitely recognize the name, so thank you, James. He says, Merry Christmas, Pixel Dan family. This Santa is hanging in the window at my aunt's house. The door is the workshop area of the basement. Just find him weird with those squinty eyes. <laughs> so he's just got this little, gl it's like a, a window decal, but it looks like a little Santa is poking up and looking through the window of the workshop. I love it. What's happening in that workshop? Yeah, right what's now? he doing? Yeah, what's it's he like doing? he's popping up going, hey, how's it going? Nothing to see yeah. here. <laughs> Don't come in here. Yeah, it's super good. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, James. Thanks. All right, next email says, hi, Dan, Stina, and Spencer. My name is Mike, and my son Hunter and I have been watching Advent Calendar Madness for the last few years, and we're excited for this year. We sent a creepy Santa picture a couple years ago and thought it would be fun to send another one this year. While decorating, my son found a creepy Santa head, and by his reaction in the pic, you can tell he's pretty creeped out by it. Thank you for the years of great entertainment, and we hope you guys have a great Christmas season. Happy holidays from Mike and Hunter. And this is the creepy Santa head that oh. Hunter found. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like a head. With these I love like how the beard's like all weird and braided. What? It's like no. It's, it's like curly, curly, like curly cues like, going on there. And why is it not white? I know it's like blondish. Or it's got a bit of a brown tint to it's it. A, it's a it's a hippie Santa. Hi hippie Santa. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, thank you, Mike and Hunter. That's thank fantastic. You. And we got one more today. Merry Christmas, Dan and family. Congratulations. On the upcoming baby. Well, thank you so thank much. You. And if you guys didn't know already, yes, Christina's pregnant right now. <laughs> We're going to have another baby. Yay! <laughs> says, anyway, in 2011, I walked in the Jingle Bell Run in Peoria, Illinois. Oh, cool. They had Santa there and they had a costume contest. I dressed up and I won first place. I also raised $200 to help fight arthritis. Nice. I took a photo with St. Nick. Here's the photo. Yes, Santa wasn't creepy. I was. <laughs> zombie. <laughs> He's like Santa. a zombie. And I love it. He's got like a candy cane. It's like a candy cane He's killed him. Stuck like, in his and turned him chest. into a zombie. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is really good stuff. And this comes from Brian, by the way. So Brian. I don't think I've ever seen a zombie Santa before. It's good stuff, wow. man. Good creepy, creepy zombie yeah, creepy, cosplay. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Good stuff, guys. Well, if you do want to join in on the fun, like I said, please send in your email. I will definitely store it and uh, we'll try our best to get to every single one of them. You can send me an email to admin, A-D-M-I-N, at pixel-dan.com. Just make sure the subject of the email says Creepy Santa and I'll set it aside in a special folder that I have designated just for the show. That way I don't miss any of them. So love this. I love this tradition. It's so much fun. And speaking of traditions... It's time for some Danish cookies. <laughs> if, if I must. You know, if you must. The baby needs cookies, Christina. Mm. <laughs> you know what? I had some chocolate milk. I had it all ready to go for the show. And I got home from work today. And it was all gone. Because my son and his cousins drank it all. He's sitting behind the camera right now. And <laughs> a smirk on his face. So I have to get new chocolate milk for the show. <laughs> it's it's okay. It's okay. At least they were drinking milk. That's right. At least they were drinking milk. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, speaking of Spencer, why don't we go ahead and cut over to him so he can open up day number three of his Super Mario Advent Calendar. Hey, Spencer. Hi. What's today? What number are we doing? Number three. Number three? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Do you know where number three is? Yeah. Oh, you found it already. All right, let's do it. It's one of those fire flowers. It's a fire flower. Whoa. What do you think? Cool. That's pretty cool. It's neat that we're getting like the power-ups in here too. Yeah. I like it. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. So it's funny because you've got it's it's funny because you've got like the snowball Luigi, but you've got the fire flower. <laughs> yeah, but this one's not one. Well, and then that's a toad. 
Yeah, just a toad? Yeah, that's really cool. Not, not like a special one. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Like, like he got a one. See me? He's just a normal toad. Yeah. Cool. All right, man. Well, we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey, all right. So, a fire flower. That, that was really cool. And I was it, really impressed with that. I think it's awesome, and I'm glad that it's a toy. And it's not like a piece of cardboard or mm -hmm. like they could have easily cheaped out and given them like a cardboard fire flower. But it's like a full on little toy fire flower. And uh, I love power ups or, or like artifacts for toys. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty cool. So, so far, the Mario calendar is a total win. I've also had several people point out that their kids also have that Mario calendar this year. Is it the so, same? Um, I, I haven't heard anybody say it's different yet on that one, but I've had a few people say that it's cool that they can follow along with Spencer opening it up. Yeah. So I was really happy to hear that. Now on yours, a lot of people have the Funko one. Mm -hmm. They're different every day. That's awesome. So you never know what you're, you never know what you're gonna so get. I'm not, because yeah. uh, a couple people have shared pictures with me of what they got on day one or two and they're completely different Marvel characters. Yeah. So I don't know if they're all just mixed up in there or if it could just be any Marvel um, pint size hero that Funko's made. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but it's one of those ones where it's different every day. So and the Lego one, of course, is consistent. Everybody's been getting the same things for Lego, so. So do you think there will, we, like, I'll eventually maybe not get something that they got? Or do you think it's just all random? I have no random? idea. I have no idea. I guess we'll find out as we go. So feel free, if you guys have this, to tell us which ones you're getting. It'd be really cool to kind of keep track of it and see. And yeah, tell me what the Mario one, too. I have a feeling the Mario one's all the same because of yeah. the way that they're tied in there. I bet it's the same all the way through. Yeah, probably. Um, but yeah, okay. So, hey, we're going to start off with... The box that our good friend Kevin from SEO Toy Review sent us. Do you want to open again or do you want me to pick today? It's your turn. Okay, so I, I've been, I've been eyeballing this. He's got these world's smallest blind boxes you in here. These yeah, they're so cool. Smallest. So look, it could be a magic eight ball, really a glow, glow worm. worm. Uh, there's all kinds of little things in here. So here, I'm just going to dive right in. Wait, rip the box open here. A little blind bag inside the box. Oh, I got it's the glow. I got the glow worm and it lights up. Look. Oh. Hold on. How well, did... it did. Look, look, look. That's awesome. How cool is that? I actually had this guy when I was a baby, when I was I, a little kid. I never had I had that one exact of these. same one. My See, these are fun. Did. The world's smallest things are a lot of fun. All right. Look Ooh. how cute it is. Look how cute it is. All right. You ready to dive in? Yep. So here we go. Day number three. I got Lego City. You got Marvel. Funko. Let's see here if we I go. can name this one. Oh, here we go. I got a minifig now. I got a minifig. That's not Marvel. That's DC. It's not DC. What you're holding right there? Well, I was thinking, Oh, the name you were thinking of I was, was DC. thinking, yeah, the name. So you're trying to think of who that is? I was thinking it was Iron Fist. You're right. That's Iron Fist. But Iron Fist is... That is Marvel, isn't it? <laughs> I had to wait for I had to wait for her to figure it out. Yeah, even we watched he, we watched his show, remember? You're right. And you're he teamed right. up with uh, Daredevil well, and I Jessica just, Jones. I was just thinking that DC does all the TV shows. Right. And Marvel does all the movies. I, I see how you got confused. I see. Hey, so but I, I got I knew who this was. I got cool little uh, guy in like a blue parka, and he's got a broom because I I'm pretty sure he's gonna play curling. You know that little sport on the ice. Hey, yeah, I like it. I like your little uh, Iron Fist. Amazing. Wait, well, I'm really happy with my my little guy, and, and he just dove off the box, as they tend to do. And I got his little, uh... all right, he's down there. <laughs> he's down there. But surprised he didn't come with it. But you should just stick him on top of it. I was going to, but he jumped all the way off, so we'll put him there tomorrow. And then you got, uh, you got lots of green going yeah, on. Okay. Even, even Iron Fist wears a green suit, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> So I wonder if I'll get somebody just, that's just, just plain yellow. all green. <laughs> yeah, oh, all oh, yellow tomorrow. so we tomorrow. start patterns now. Yeah. Now it's more yellow. I see, I see. Hey, all right. Well, that's going to end off day number three of Advent Calendar Madness. Guys, thank you so much for joining us once again. And don't forget, come right back here tomorrow for a brand new episode of the show. Until then, I'm Pixel Dan. I'm Stina. Happy holidays, my friends.